Get ready to raise the dead. On this edition, we're resurrecting Spanish director Alex de la Iglesia's 1995 occult farce, The Day of the Beast. Equal parts The Exorcist, The Omen, and Fright Night, The Day of the Beast follows a Catholic priest as he attempts to prevent the birth of the Antichrist. It falls on Alex on Hulo as Father Angel to infiltrate Satan's circle the only way he knows, sinning. The film opens with a prologue in which he confesses his mission of evil. Angel has solved a coded biblical passage that foretells the Antichrist's birth on the Day of the Beast. He knows the date, but not the location, so he plans to sin his way into the unholy ceremony. Cut to an opening montage in which Angel goes about his task in Madrid on Christmas Eve. He steals a homeless man's change, roughs up a mime, and lifts the wallet off a dying man before telling him to burn in hell instead of administering the last rites. Angel soon finds himself in a record shop where he meets Jose Maria. Played by Santiago Segura, Jose helps Angel out with his satanic playlist and sets him up with a room in his mother's hostel. There, Angel tells Jose his mission and mourns his inability to successfully sell his soul. They turn to Professor Cavan. Played by Armando de Raza, Cavan is a noted television occultist and host of The Dark Side. Angel and Jose hold a disbelieving Cavan hostage, begging him to help them invoke Satan. Against his will, Cavan details the requirements, but they are short maiden's blood. So, Angel sets off to the hostel to extract it from Jose's would-be love interest, Mina. Played by Nathalie Sasenia, Mina admits her virginity, drinks drugged coffee, and is about to have her blood extracted before Jose's domineering mother breaks in and lays the smackdown on Angel. Veteran of over 90 films, Terele Pavez throws down in an epic fight sequence before Angel inadvertently kills her. Although in a perverse sinner's lament, he regrets that it wasn't intentional. With virgin blood acquired, he consecrates Wonderbread hosts and the trio of Angel, Cavan, and Jose successfully summon the devil, and Angel signs his pact in blood. Not fooled by Angel's offering, however, the devil appears in goat form and leaves a message in the burnt scraps, indicating that it's not a game. The cops are now on Angel's trail, and the group must split up to look for a sign. Having been made a believer, Coven finally discovers that the Devil's Mark is the key to unlocking the mystery of the location. Satan has adopted a mark, thus imitating the cross and mocking Christianity. Coven locates a twin structure that resembles that mark, the Gate of Europe. There, the reunited trio finds a homeless family with a newborn baby holed up under cardboard. Before Angel can get down to business, a gang seen throughout the film murdering the homeless appears from the shadows and reveals themselves as Satan's followers, with the leader being the devil's physical embodiment. Jose distracts Satan, now in his true form, so that Angel can escape, but Jose is tossed off the building in the process. Coven is badly beaten and burned by remaining gang members before Angel returns and shoots them down, catching the Antichrist and family in the crossfire. He then clips off the devil's vessel for good measure. Crisis has been averted and humanity saved. Sadly, Angel and a recovering Coven must now roam as homeless drifters themselves, lamenting that no one will ever know of their sacrifice. The Day of the Beast met with critical and audience acclaim upon its release, racking up multiple Goya awards. It eventually received a limited U.S. theatrical release by Trimark Pictures in 1998 before a 1999 VHS release on home video. Although labeled horror, The Day of the Beast transcends genre and stands up as a work worthy of reading subtitles. Alex on Hulo shines as Angel, Alex de la Iglesia's satire is deliciously deadpan, and the makeup team created a convincing horned devil. So there's a lot to like in The Day of the Beast, and it's time for one of the domestic home video companies to release it in digital form. If a special edition Blu-ray isn't in the cards, at least make it available for streaming. Until then, horror hounds will have to do their own research, like Father Angel, to locate a pirated copy with English subtitles. However, unlike Angel, please try to keep the sinning to a minimum.